Hey guys, this is uh, Honey Hole Fishing. Um, just Cole here today. Now we just got back from our Florida trip. And you know, you go down to Florida and you catch all these big fish and you come back to Ohio and you're like, well, shit. I'm gonna spend all day and I'm gonna catch fish that I use for bait out there, or down there. Well, I'm gonna try to get back into it, but I'm gonna try to get back into it using a uh, fly rod. So, going to a few creek spots where I know that I might have some luck. Just catching some small stuff off a fly, off of a small two weight fly rod. Um, throwing things like gra grasshoppers and uh, nymphs, mostly looking for creek chubs or any kind of larger bait fish that might be lurking around. And this is how Andrew and I go about catching our bait for when we go on our bigger trips. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to show you guys how this is this is how we get our bait. Hey guys, it's uh, Cole from Honey Hole again, and we're uh, stopping by our first location. This is the uh, the creek bed that I was talking about on the way over. You know, it's a small small little creek, but you know it yields fish. There are some bait fish in here that should definitely be caught and used as bait, and we're gonna find out how well that works. Uh, let's see if a fly rod is an effective way of doing this. I have also brought a very large and borderline illegal cast net and we'll see. I'm sure this will be the more fun way because cast nets are great but it's, it's just cheating. It's too easy. Um, so let's see what we can catch over here. That I'll throw a fly but I'll just show you guys what I'm using. Got a tiny little green green grasshopper as my indicator tied off to a real small nymph All right. here's another pocket not not uh, too far up and uh, there are definitely some bigger bigger fish in this area spikes interest you know and the other thing I was thinking is that this this creek is just so Oh, motherfucker. Really sad I uh, turned the GoPro off for a second because I was trying to unhook that uh, that one section, or that one snag, and uh, as I was unhooking it and walking back, I completely ate shit and fell into the river. Beneath it. If I just cast up a little bit. Got one. And see, these, you know, if these three, four, or five inch fish like this, perfect bass bait. Bass love these things. We'll go in the river, we hook them straight through the nose, cast them right back out. They love them. Bass love these things. And you know, I don't think there's any any better way to go catch bait than doing it on a super lightweight fly rod. And luckily, this guy is having a good day because he's going right back in the in. The oh, fish. Ooh, second. You know, this is what we strive for. We got another one of these chubs. Perfect bass bait. Just perfect bass bait. Bass will hit these all day. Hook them right through the nose. Normally, when we fish these, we don't use bobbers. We don't use sinkers. We live line them. Goodbye, fish. Just live line. That's all it takes. Let's see if we can catch anything interesting up in here. Hey, guys voiceover again uh, just showing you that I, I was not exaggerating earlier when they were hitting the uh, top water and uh, nymph setups we had uh, some spider patterns and some grasshopper patterns that were serving as indicators down uh, with 8 to 12 inches to a nymph and we hid the camera under or I hid the camera underwater 
to show you guys that they really were going crazy for this. You can look around and you'll see the spider dropping right now. You'll see him in the middle of the screen and look, boom, something takes it. They mess with it the whole time, every single time that that spider or that uh, spider, I don't know what they grow, that beetle or that nymph come into their view, they snap at it immediately. There's probably a dozen or so down there, and every time those flies fell down below that kill zone, they took them out. And we took this underwater video just to show you guys how aggressive they were. However, most of these fish, I believe, were just too small, and some of these flies were just too awkwardly shaped for them to actually eat the baits. And uh, that's why we ended up switching things up later on. Um, but I just want, I thought these were some really cool shots, and I just wanted to show you. Uh, so just enjoy the rest of the video and watch how these fish uh, interact with the flies that we were throwing at them. So, another thing I wanted to add uh, during this whole underwater uh, camera footage ordeal is that I had changed lures. I figured that the uh, grasshopper to nymph pattern wasn't working because maybe the fish just weren't that hungry. Um, so I tried a more aggressive approach by throwing some really small streamers. Now I had some very, I don't know, I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're like mini clouds or minnows that are about an inch long and they're a bright orange color to possibly just provoke attack straight just from aggression from these other fish. Um, and after trying this, I realized that this works a lot better than throwing nymphs as you're about to see. Hey guys, Cole here again. Um, just showing that I decided to switch up the experiment while uh, the camera was in the water. I found a nice little pocket right here that had a pretty good uh, bounty of fish and I wanted to uh, try a few different things. So the uh, grasshopper to nymph really wasn't working out so well. You know, they, they were, as you can see, they were going nuts after it. I think a quarter, what it looked like to me is they were going nuts after it, but they j would just not eat it. They wouldn't take the hook. They would take it underwater. They would mess with it, but they would not eat it. Um, and I just, I feel like that has to do with what, that. God damn it, get back here. Man. That has to do with, you know, just not being hungry or being, uh, hungry enough to eat fish but however I change it up to a very small minnow pattern and as you can see things change quite quite a lot now let me get this guy off the hook here Every, every single cast I got something and it was ranging from those little green sunfish to uh, these chubs and they were really reacting well to the uh, orange colored pattern uh, streamers so for future reference that's what we're going to be using to catch a bait here because the other options were not working to my surprise but hey that's why we do that we come out here to fish and we come out here to learn new things every day so goodbye little